Hello and welcome to this podcast on Port Centric Logistics with our strategic partners DFDS Tourline, Felix Stowe Warehousing, John Good Shipping and PD Ports. Traditionally, Port Centric operations have centred on liquid bulks and dry bulks for handling, processing storage and distribution to final customers. More recently, unitized cargo has been added to this list. Our economy depends on open, global trade flows, and leading companies have moved to port-centric logistics for their supply chains. This includes consumer goods and manufactured components. This helps to give greater visibility of stock in transit and improve management of trailers and containers. Containers are prioritised and landed to meet customer demand. Port-centric logistic solutions offer the opportunity to reduce the process time for documentation, secure warehousing and options for either dedicated or shared user distribution. Delivery can be made direct from port to final market or distribution centre. This gives maximum stock flexibility at the port of entry. For your customers, the benefits of port-centric logistics come from reducing the number of legs in the supply chain, lower lead times and the ability to reduce inventory levels. At the port, this eliminates demurrage charges, improves cash flow and simplifies container and trailer logistics. Visit our website for more details about the benefits of port-centric logistics solutions.